Welcome. My name's Gwen. Welcome to your practice today. You'll need a space where you have, um, you can stand up, we'll be standing up today and we'll be using uh, a wall. And if you don't have an o a wall that's free to uh, place a finger, or all five fingers, or the hand, um, you can have a chair, the back of a chair. So get that set up for yourself. If you have a couple blankets, go ahead and, and grab them. If you have a couple blocks, go ahead and grab your blocks. Um, if you have a bolster and you want to use that, instead of creating a support with bringing your blocks together, end to end, and then placing a blanket over that, you can use a bolster whatever you have around um, so that you can, at your feet, it's elevated. At your head, it's cushioned. Then if you have a strap, a yoga strap would be great so that you can, coming into active rest. So cultivating this rest with the strap will help the legs to stop the effort so just to release and give up effort so once you have it around just between the knee and the hip just notice it, how the legs feel heels are going to rest on the mat and right below the toes is going to rest about hip distance right onto the blocks or if you have a bolster <laughs> then go ahead and let yourself settle so you'll rest the head. If you need a little bit more support, you can go ahead and create that waterfall pillow we talked about in uh, a couple practices ago. You can roll the top, place it underneath the base of the skull, thereabouts in the neck region. You can cushion it up by squishing it. Whatever feels good today, that kind of feels good for me, so I'm gonna give my head a little bit of a rock just so I can create that little nest. Hands on the belly at the start if you'd like. We're gonna be shifting the hands in a moment. So notice what you notice right off the bat. This is amazing to drop the lumbar sacral spine, this lower spine. It'll help the hips to settle down. And you'll notice the whole entire body sink and soften as you breathe. Take your time. And then we're going to go ahead and reach out our arms. So go ahead and reach out your arms and then hug the one you love. I'm going to bring the right over the left to start. So notice which one is closer to the chin. You can hug a little bit deeper by pulling the arms underneath and gripping with the fingers and then eventually go ahead and flip the hands upwards so that you loosen your grip so you can let go of any effort here eyes are closed notice how the body breathes here and then we're going to come into a controlled breath So notice now through the nose, a nice cleansing breath on your next inhale. Exhale that audible sigh out. Ha. One more like that. Pull in that beautiful breath all the way up. Belly rises. Notice how far it drifts through the nose, through the mouth, whatever feels good here. Let yourself sink and soften. Then you're going to inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. One, two. Exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. One, two. In. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. Exhale, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. In one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. Out seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. In one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. Out seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. One more with the arms like this. In one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. Out seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Lengthen through the arms on your next natural breath like a yawn. Reach up and out. Hug the one you love, the other arm on top. For me, it's the left. Go ahead and cinch those arms up without struggle or force. Flip the palms up to resist any gripping. And notice your breath now. Is there anywhere you can release a little more? Feel the heels rest, the feet rest, the heaviness through the back of the pelvis. And then again, take a deep inhale. Exhale that sigh out. One more here, please. On your next inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause, two, one, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, last one, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Dive into your next breath as you reach outward. Notice like a yawn how this feels. Go ahead and take the strap off of the legs. Roll yourself from side to side, the knees, a light little rock 
If you have a little dog or a cat beside you, give them a little pat. This is Leo. I barely ever get into on my yoga mat without him. So he's a, a major yogi. And then very softly here, let yourself just roll over to one side. Let yourself come all the way up. Take your blocks and just give them a little push off your mat. You can use one of your blocks. I'm gonna, my blocks happen to be, the ones under my feet happen to be cork. They're, they're pretty heavy. They're awesome for stability. So there's nothing like some weight in your blocks for stability. So go ahead and, and let yourself roll down onto your back. So we're going to do a little uh, dynamic Settu Bandhasana, so this beautiful little bridge pose. We're going to park the car by taking the block right between the pubic bone and the knees, and then a yin style press. So a yin style press through the thighs to turn on the core, to turn on that inseam all the way up, feeds up into our first bandha, that first lock that we've talked about, our mula bandha, that root lock. So now that beautiful dome comes up with this beautiful yin style squeeze. Notice what that feels like. So in the spirit of yin, very soft, something that you can hold for 20 minutes or more. Palms are down by your side. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and take the tips of the shoulders. Let them draw downward. Notice what that feels like to the heart as it gently comes upward. And then relax and soften, all the while squeezing into the block. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, tips of the shoulders down. Feel the heart lift. Feel the length of the arms now and press, and then relax that effort. Notice all those muscles relax into the mat and soften. Let's do that one more time and add on. Inhale deeply, exhale tips of the shoulders down, length of the arms press. Press into the heels now. Notice the weight of the pelvis. Maybe it comes up just a hair off of the mat and then relax it down into the mat. A deep breath here. Notice what you notice as all the muscles relax and soften. And let's do that again now, move a little higher. So inhale, exhale, shoulders press, length of the arms, heels. We roll up possibly a little higher and then let's come on down. Let's keep moving like this now. You'll press into the shoulders, that foundation of the arms and the heels and the feet, and then we'll lift the pelvis to a new height. Know that there's no magical place. Every spot that you bring the pelvis is perfect. So experiment. Use your mat as your laboratory. Collect that valuable data without any judgment. Just mark it down, scan, and notice how it feels. We're going to bring it one more height, just high enough to take that block right out, bring it right behind the back of the sacrum, that lower pelvis, four to five fused bones that make a, a shape unique to you so here's your uniqueness. Notice what you feel. So go ahead and trace right from these protrusions that come right out from the top here, this iliac crest. Go ahead and draw a line down to the block. You'll be about an inch from the top, thereabouts. Then scooch the upper arms in with the palms ready to receive one thigh 
and then the other. Have the inseam rest. Notice what it feels like to have the inner knees rest into each other, the big toes rest into each other. A light little press, just like we had the block there. And then go ahead and sway from side to side. A light little sway as we massage the sacrum, that lower pelvis. We use the arms as that wedge support. Know that you can use anything under the pelvis. You could use something a little bit more restorative like a blanket. The bolster would have a little more give. Don't put up with it, this is sore. If you're a little bit on the tired side, then have the heels down towards the tush, a little bit under efforted. Whatever feels good, find your spot. And then go ahead and come into the U shape of the knees coming inward and outward. They come in towards the heart center and out. So we come into the block just a little differently. So a light little massage like this to the back of the pelvis, the, the upper quadrant of that pelvis, a beautiful line. going to create a circle with those knees so draw a circle those laser beams circle with the knees so nice easy circle it can spiral outward you can keep it inward maybe a, a small circle is best for you feel all of the pelvis rolling on the mat like this rolling on the block, all four corners. What's it like to go the other way? Is it easy? Does it, this feel like a lot of effort for you today? So you never have to do as many. Wherever you are, maybe one more feels good for you. Bring the knees all the way to the center. Go ahead and wrap the hands around the knees and flex those feet. The heels are gonna guide the way up towards the ceiling. From here, you're gonna let the legs fall into the hands and the hands are gonna push back. And you're gonna move like this now. This light little beautiful pose. Notice what it's like in the hips in the hamstrings, this whole length of the back of the leg here, into the calf, the back of the knees. All the while, a light little massage into the knees. So feel the fingers. Notice the warmth or the lack of in your hands. One more, just like this. And then go ahead and bring the heels down into that rest. Hands on the knees. You can remain like this, or you can wrap up. So this is that apanasana here. This downward, outward winds. You might feel the back body press. You can help that by bringing the thighs into the belly. Maybe you wrap where the knees bend. Maybe you wrap on the shins. Whatever feels good here. I'm gonna do one of each. We'll rest in between each of these. So flex the feet, heels up. Feel the stacking quality now. Heels over knees, knees over hips. We're going to drop the heels to about a 60. Grab that great big beach ball in the arms, these tree hugging arms. Notice the back of the shoulders and plant them down now. The inner knees connect. Go ahead and bend one at a time, alternate. Connect, rate that inseam you can, with a light little press if you'd like, and then a little bend. Connect this with the breath, in through the nose and out through the nose. 
So call into that ujjayi breath, our victorious breath. Feel that breeze on the back of the throat. Listen to the breath. Feel a slight contraction there. Exhale into that navel, possibly bringing it to the spine. Notice how you feel in the back of the shoulders, the back of the head. One more this way. One more that way. Connect at the top. Heels to the tush, thighs into the belly, wrap, and notice how you feel. Three breaths, rest, feel the middle of the shoulder blades, press, press, press. Notice where the block is pressing, maybe you feel that line. One more beautiful breath here, inhale deeply. Follow that exhale as you pour yourself a little further into this pose. Flex the feet and let yourself come up into that stacking quality. Grab your beach ball as the heels come down to that 60. Back of the shoulders root. Length of the leg comes down with the length in the arm. Remains at hip height and then up. Alternate between sides and give a light little press in the inseam when you come up. Inhale up, a little press and alternate. Notice how it feels, a little press. In through the nose and out through the nose, call in the ujjayi breath. Feel the support. One more this way, one more that way. Go ahead and bend the knees, bring the thighs into the belly and wrap. You can wrap by hanging on to the fingers, interlaced, maybe the wrist, maybe the elbows. You, can, you really want to come down in a big, big press. Wherever you are, Notice the exhale. Notice how heavy between the shoulder blades it can become. One more breath, enjoy that exhale. All the way to the bottom of the lungs. Ha, ah, heavy, heavy. And then go ahead and flex the feet one more time here. Press it up. Feel that stacking quality. Grab the beach ball, back of the shoulders, anchor down into the mat, back of the head. Go ahead and take the heels down, turning on the belly. This variation, one arm, one leg, the other arm comes curling above the crown, meet in the middle with a light little press of the inseam of the legs. Other side, press. And again, in through the nose and out through the nose. Notice how this feels. A secret bend in the knees. A light little press as they come upward. Let's go one more this side. One more that side. Go ahead and take the heels down, thighs into the belly. Yogi's choice for the variation that you'd like to breathe into now. Either hands on the shins where the knees bent or palms on the knees. Enjoy your next exhale all the way to the bottom as the feet slowly come to the floor. Go ahead and 
take the arms by your side, press into the back of the shoulders, length of the arms, feet press and hover off of the block. Take the block right out. Notice that area where the block was. And then go ahead and lift the arms up. So the upper spine is going to start to come down and the arms are going to follow up towards the ceiling as you roll the spine into the mat, one vertebrae at a time. The lower spine comes down. <laughs> And notice how you feel. Nice. Go ahead and, and uh, roll over to your side. Let yourself gently, softly come on up. We're going to come to hands and knees. So if you need your, your blanket that you have here, go ahead and use it for your knees. And then cushion those knees and bring your hands down. Notice how it feels in tabletop here. So this is a full body tune up. Allow yourself to feel the length of the spine. Feel this neutral spine as you, the nose points down. And the arms like pressing into sand. They're really rooted, especially the you can feel that thumb and first finger, the heel of the hand. You feel the strength here. And then very softly, let's gently now feel a tripod. First, the left hand is pressed. And now you're going to feel the right leg slowly come on out. And then go ahead and bring it back down. And again, left hand presses, a little less on the right hand, and then the right leg comes out. And then go ahead and bring it back. Other side. So press into the right hand, a little light on the left hand as the left leg comes out. Notice what that's like, and then go ahead and bring it back. And we're going to do that again. So we're going to add on to this. This is where you might want to have a wall. And then go ahead and bring it back. So now I'm going to just move my um, blanket. I'm going to come right back into my tabletop and gently I'm going to bring my foot to the wall. Toe pointed down. So I'm starting with my right foot and I'm going to give a light little press and feel that line. And now the right hand is pressing with that right leg. So notice what that's like. Opposite now the left arm comes up, so feel that. We're gonna make a connection here with the elbow to the knee. So go ahead and bring the elbow towards the knee and then press into the wall. Exhale, elbow to knee. Get that length, press into the wall, reach outward, feel how long the spine can become. Round, feel your balance and out. One more for good luck. And then go ahead and switch. Other side. Press into the wall with the left foot this time. Reach with the right arm. Feel how long the spine can become. And then go ahead, elbow to knee connection. Inhale nice and long. Exhale, make that connection. Notice what you notice as you move in and out. How is the pelvis moving? Can you feel it move as it come, the knee comes to the elbow and then as it lengthens back? Come right back into your tabletop. 
And here you're going to come into a nice light little rest. So go ahead and come right onto your side. And here you can roll up your, your uh, blanket in a light little roll. Place one hand down at a time and let the forehead come down. Or if that's not high enough, take one of your blocks, place it right underneath the blanket, and then forehead down. Whatever feels good here. This front foot, so I'm laying on my outer edge. For you yinsters, this is deer pose or pinwheel. Or it can be a, a first stage of our pigeon pose. The foot can rest on that left thigh. Notice how you feel. Breathe and soften here. Relax through the jaw. Nice. One more breath right here. Enjoy that. Inhale deeply. Nice smooth exhale. And then let yourself come all the way back up. Take the blanket out. We're going to use it for the other side. And take your blocks out. If you have two blocks, use them. If you have one, you'll use one. I'm going to bring my right foot up first. Leave the back foot out in this kind of like a, a Hanuman or Gecko for you yinsters, lunge. So we're gonna root all five toes of the back foot. Let the knee come upward and the hands will be downward. So you can come nice and small or you can go a little bit bigger in. So if you have two blocks, this is, might be what it looks like. If you don't have any blocks, this is what it could look like. You can use your fingertips. We have these built-in blocks. And you press into all five fingertips. As you come down, you lengthen through the palate and crown. You lengthen through that back heel. And as you press up, you feel this rounding of the spine. Next time you come down, let yourself come all the way down. And we're going to come into pigeon on this side. So go ahead and come right over on the left side. You'll take your rolled up blanket, root it to the thigh, and let yourself come on down. If you had the block underneath, maybe the block underneath on this side. Three breaths. Notice what it's like to expand through the back of the rib cage in all directions. Exhale, feel that weight, pour it into the mat. One more beautiful inhale. Soft exhale, soften, soften, soften. On your next natural breath, press yourself up, other side. So come on up into tabletop. If you're using both blocks, both blocks, left leg comes up, so other side. Root through those back toes, nice long lunge. And then feel the length from the heel through the palate. As you exhale, round. Lengthen through this front knee as you come up. Exhale that length. Maybe you have them on medium, the blocks. Maybe you're using one block. Maybe you're using no blocks. Or you do a combination. I love to work with props. I'm such a great fan of using them. But then there's times where I'll just bring them off to the side and feel, what is it like if I do this? 
Let the head be heavy and hang. And then slowly, slowly now you're going to hop that back leg up. So you're going to hop it up towards this left leg. Hop it up again, a little bit at a time. And then you'll find yourself in your forward fold here. So notice what Uttanasana feels like, this beautiful hanging. I love to bend the knees and swish from side to side. So if that's you, enjoy. Notice what you notice, the legs are almost the width of your mat. You feel this fluid motion, this fluid breath. Then go ahead and come on to center. Grab a hold of the block and feel as you press up that flat back. And then go ahead and fold down and bend those knees. Let's do that two more times. Press through the elbows, press through the knees, flat back, exhale, fold. On the next one, you're gonna press through the feet. You're gently gonna walk the hands up the thighs and let yourself come on all the way up. Come on over to the, to the wall. We're gonna do a series of balance poses. So if you have a wall or a chair, whatever feels good, we're gonna be careful not to lean into it. So if it's a chair, maybe one or two fingers. If it's a wall, one or two fingers. Uh, play, make it a game. So if you have the fingers on the wall, maybe all five to start, kickstand, the toe is down, the heel is gonna rest on the calf for a moment. Feel and notice that. So let's come into Vrikshasana, tree pose. So maybe here, maybe both hands at the heart center. You can bring it all the way up. Look at something that isn't moving. Fruit on the tree. So thumb to first finger, close that circuit. Maybe the hand touches the wall. And then go ahead and bring it up and back down. Bring the foot in both feet rooted and body scan now. So a standing Tadasana, so mountain pose body scan. Eyes are closed. Feel and notice the toes. Come into them, come forward into your toes. And then go ahead and rock back into the heel. Rock over to one side and then over to the other side. Find your center, feel the inseam of the legs come up through the middle of the body, all the way up through that heart center, the back of the throat, middle of the brain, and up. Notice the balance, and now other side. Toes root, heel is up, let it rest. Palms at the heart center. Let them come all the way up. Fruit on the tree. The hands can touch wherever they touch or not. Make it a game. Look at something that isn't moving. Sometimes I'll close my eyes just to see where I'm at. So have some fun as you bring your hands right above the crown to touch and home again, home again, home again. Both feet root. Notice the balance as you scan. Allow the body enough time to sense and feel this beautiful shift. Allow the body enough time, a few breaths here to recalibrate. Nice. And then from here, we're gonna come into dusting off our feet. So getting that sand off of our feet. So um, here we are, hand on the wall, maybe. You can dust inseam of the feet. 
then bring the foot all the way into the front and do the sole of the foot, the top of the other foot, from heels to toes. Then do the baby toe edge from the front. So the baby toe edges, sweep, and then go ahead and bring it all the way into the back, baby toe edge, sweeps, and then top of the foot all the way the length of the calf to the heel and up. All the different areas of the calf, the outer, the middle, the inner. And then let the foot rest, come into that body scan, arms by your side, Tadasana. So feel the heart lifted, the arms nice and soft. Careful not to press. So feel the softness of the toes. Feel the arch feet up into the inseam and the knees, all the way up to the navel, all the way up to that heart center, all the way up to the nose, all the way up. Nice, beautiful breath here, fully held. Other side. Fingertips can rest on the wall. Take the other foot and then go ahead and take the sand off the sole of the foot by rubbing it up and down the shin, the top of the foot. Then you're going to go ahead and take that big toe edge on the other big toe edge and sweep. Baby toe edge, sweep from the front to the back. And then the top of the foot, the length of the calf. All the different angles getting that sand off. Outer, inner, and then go ahead and bring that foot down and feel and sense your balance. Breathe into this. Nice. Yogi's choice to do another balance or to come down to your mat. So we're gonna come down to the mat today You can very softly close your eyes, come into a seated pose, or come into a Shavasana by laying down. So final resting pose. Nice and easy. Feel and notice how the body can rest either in a seated pose here, or laying flat on your backs. Maybe you have a bolster under the legs, a cushion under the head, an eye pillow. Get yourself nice and warm and cozy. Stay here as long as you'd like and notice how you feel. And if you've carved out the 45 minutes that we've allowed for this practice, take another deep breath here. You can close the practice on your back or you can come up to seated. Go ahead and take the palms together in deep appreciation for yourself for showing up. Thumbs at the heart center with a light little press. Feel that connection. A deep breath here. And exhale, we bow. Send this beautiful, yummy goodness out off of our mats. May it flow into all beings that need a little bit of support inside and out today. Namaste.